You're watching this. You are the resistance. It's beautiful here, isn't it? This is freedom. The wind blowing and the birds. That's the sound of freedom. It is a thing that many of us take for granted. Now there is a woman, a Muslim female, who doesn't have this available to her. She doesn't have freedom. Someone's taken it away from her. Right now, as you watch this, she is in prison and has been there for several years. And in this very same prison, she was flogged 99 times. And after being flogged nearly to death, she admitted to a crime, a horrendous, terrible crime under Islamic law. And that crime was caring about somebody, the crime of adultery. And for this, they have decreed that she should be stoned to death, buried up to her chest in sand, and then pelted to death with rocks. From the U.S. to Germany, and through internet postings worldwide, outcries against the imminent execution of Sakine Mohammadi Ashtiani, a 43-year-old mother of two, convicted in 2006 of committing adultery in Iran. Already sentenced and lashed 99 times, a judge's panel re-examined Ashtiani's case and decided she should be stoned to death for her alleged crime. Now you might be a Muslim, and you might not be a Muslim, but you are a human being, and this woman is a human being. Now maybe you're one of those people that don't like the Muslims. You think all Muslims should be killed, wiped from the face of the earth. And all you have to do to make sure that this woman dies is nothing. Stop watching this video and don't do another darn thing. And I can assure you, she will end up dead. This Muslim woman has a son and a daughter who have pleaded with the world to do something. And now I'm pleading with you to do something. And you might ask, what can I do? I'm one person. Yes, you are one person and alone your voice is a whisper. But together we are legion and our voice is deafening. I'm not asking you to send money or give blood. I'm simply asking for a moment of your time to save a woman's life from a barbaric and cruel senseless death. Do not underestimate the power that you have at your fingertips. Tell somebody about this call someone email your senator your congress people go to the town office and tell the mayor tell your professors call up a few of your friends and tell them about this contact the local radio station tv station newspaper make a video about her plight mirror this video do something please if enough of us complain about this, if enough of us voice our opposition, there is a chance that this woman will live. I don't care if you're a Mormon, a Muslim, a Christian, a Hindu, you're all human beings. You all know what suffering is. We are made aware of this situation and we do nothing about it. If we don't even complain, we are no better than her captors who are intent upon killing this woman. She has no one to advocate for her. She needs a voice and we have a voice. We can be her voice. It is a small thing that I am requesting of you. To seek within yourself compassion for this woman. The only omission of guilt that they have was taken from her under duress, under torture. This woman has been tortured to confess to a crime that she has since recanted and claimed she did not do. I do not think that it is an exaggeration to tell you after becoming aware of the plight of this woman that if you do nothing, her blood is on your hands in some small part. And if you are a Muslim, please speak out against this application of Sharia law. If this is not how you wish the world to see your religion, then please speak out against this. Do something about it.